And now, how was Jesus Christ anointed? We have seen earlier that in order to be set apart for a special purpose by God, kings, priests, and prophets were all anointed by pouring oil on their heads. In contrast to that, Jesus' anointing was not with physical oil, but by the Lord God Himself through the Holy Spirit. In fact, it was first prophesied in the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 1. It says, Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one, in whom my soul delights. I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations. And later, the Lord God confirmed and anointed the Lord Jesus as his chosen one in the New Testament. The book Luke chapter 3, verse 21 to 22 says, When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in a bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. In you I am well pleased. And do you remember when we talked about anointing earlier in the Old Testament? Well, if you read carefully, you will see that a prophet was always sent by the Lord God Almighty to anoint the chosen king, priest, or even prophet. Here, John the Baptist played that role, but instead of anointing Jesus in oil, he baptized him in water. In Judaism, this ritual immersion in water is called tevela. The purpose of tevela is about achieving ritual purity according to Jewish law. This was required for kohanim, which is the Hebrew word for priest, used in reference to the Aaronic priesthood. The kohanim, or priests, needed tevela before performing temple rituals. Thus, the Lord Jesus fulfilled this Jewish baptism ritual requirement, supervised by John the Baptist, in readiness of his mission. What John the Baptist was doing puzzled even the most religious of the Jews. In fact, in the book of John chapter 1, we see that the Jews of Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him, Who are you? In verse 23 to 34, John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am a voice of one calling in the wilderness. Make straight the way for the Lord. Then the Pharisees who had been sent asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? I baptize with water, John replied, but among you stands one you do not know. He is the one who comes after me, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. All this happened at Bethany beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. Then John testified, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove and resting on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, The man on whom you see the Spirit descend and rest is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. And again, the Lord God Almighty spoke about the Lord Jesus. It was during Christ's transfiguration on the mount. This was also written in the Gospels of Mark, Luke, Matthew, and Peter. If we read Matthew chapter 17, verse 1 to 13, it says, After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared before them, talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While Peter was still speaking, a bright cloud enveloped them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down in terror. Then Jesus came over and touched them. Get up, he said. Do not be afraid. And when they looked up, 
they saw no one except Jesus. So you see, the Lord God of hosts anointed Jesus himself through his own spirit. Hallelujah. This is just the end of part two. There is more to come as we shall talk about the reason why Elijah and Moses appeared, his priesthood, and the different prophecies connected to this event. Until then, God bless you.